Welcome to another episode of Legendary Leaders. As always, I am grateful to have you here with me today. Today, I am tackling another question that comes in pretty often, and it tends to happen right now again at the first of the year. And that question is, Katrina, what books do you read or what do you listen to? What do you consider really important or impactful in your life that that you've gathered information from, that you've listened to and learned, and you applied it in your life, and you would really recommend that to someone else? Those are great questions. I'm happy to share some of these things. Please know that I sat down just a few minutes before I turned the camera on, and I thought, okay, what are the most impactful books or audio books, you know, lessons that I have taken away from just others, right? Not, not me, not my ideas, but information that I have gleaned from other people that has really been impactful in my life. So I've made a list and I've, I've stuck the list behind the camera. So I'm going to look off camera for just a few seconds here or there just to still shamelessly for my list that I jotted down because I want to make sure I get everything to you. So I appreciate you understanding why I'm looking away. Um, but let me go ahead and jump into the list of books. I'm going to do books first and then I'm going to tackle some audio programs. Okay, awesome. So the first thing that I would recommend is the book called What Got You Here Won't Get You There. And it's by Marshall Goldsmith. Now, I recommended this book whenever I worked in the corporate world. It was a book that helped me when I moved from a pretty significant leadership position to the next level where I was leading my peers. And, you know, I really felt like I was in over my head and I didn't know what to do. And so I had to figure out how to lead in a way that was true to me. It was my leadership style. And I knew that I was never going to be perfect. I, I kept trying to be at that point, which I figured out, obviously, at this point, I can't be perfect. I, I might as well throw that out the door. But at the end of the day, what I realized is that I had to find my leadership style. I had to figure out and realize the fact that there are ways in which we all lead that we can't always change. But what we can do is acknowledge those faults or those gaps, bring them out into the open, talk about them, and then people are more likely to accept them. This is one of the biggest things that I took away from what got you here won't get you there. So if you haven't read it and you're leading a team or you're developing someone as a mentor because um, you're mentoring them or you just want to grab it because you're, you're running your business and you want to become a better leader in your business, then I would highly recommend it. It's a great book. That's number one. Number two on the list is The One Thing by Gary Keller. If you've listened to any of these other episodes, you know that I reference that book quite a bit. I really appreciate Gary Keller. I love the book The One Thing. Um, I love the fact that we're talking about dominoes and you know, knocking them down, figuring out what the most important thing is that if we got that done today, really everything else would just not have to happen. And so that's the way I love to think. What can I do? What is that one thing that I could do that would really empower me to get everything else done or accomplished or everything else is easier? I mean, whatever that answer is, that's what, that's what we saw for, right, with Gary Keller in the book, The One Thing. So that book is awesome. That's number two. Number three, Ask by Ryan Levesque. Okay, and so Ryan Levesque wrote the book Ask. It's essentially a book. If you haven't read it, it teaches you how to ask the right questions. There may be just one fundamental question that you need to ask your customer in order to understand them and deliver exactly what they're looking for. And so it teaches you how to ask the right questions. It's a great book, right? It's all about customer service, ultimately, right? I mean, you learn other things in the book, but ultimately it's how to ask the best question to be able to serve your customer in the best way. So it's a great book. Ryan is fantastic. All right, number four. Now realize I've numbered these just as I wrote them down and they came to my head. This is not in list of prioritization. Let me just call that out right now because all of these are important. I would recommend all of them to you. So grab them at some point if you haven't already read them. So number four on my list of just sharing whatever came to mind, um, I wrote down Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. If you haven't read Think and Grow Rich, Think and Grow Rich, Go ahead and read it. Please do. Um, a lot of the teachings that you will find of all these other leaders and mentors and just highly successful business leaders, they come from reading Napoleon Hill. And it's essentially Napoleon Hill teaches you that the way that you think, your mindset, and the way that you approach the world and the things that you say to yourself and the routines that you build will generate success. What he did was he followed all of these other individuals in the early 1900s. And he developed a process. He learned and said, okay, well, what are the patterns of success, right? And so Tony Robbins always says, success leaves clues, right? And so that's what Napoleon Hill did, was he looked at all these other successful individuals, figured out the clues, put them together, and that's what Think and Grow Rich is all about. It's a really good book, so check it out. 
And then number five, because I only wanted to do five. I didn't want to do 20 or overwhelm or right. So number five is Rich Dad, Poor Dad by Robert Kiyosaki. If you haven't read that, check that one out as well. Um, it's all about how do you get wealth, right? And, and not just, I mean, we talk about wealth as, as financial. We know that wealth can be other things by just th- than just financial reward. But he's very much focused more on the financial side of wealth and how you can amass wealth in a way that we've never been taught. If you are from a working middle class family, the, some of the things that he talks about and the way in which he teaches you to think about money and use it as a tool and as a resource, a lot of those things aren't things that we had ever been taught. I can tell you from experience, those aren't the things that I was taught. But some of them were, but not all of them. And so now you have all these different tools. And again, all of these books, these five books exist, and they're my favorite. They're my favorites because they have challenged me to think about my life or the, my outlook or my view in a very different way. And it allows me the freedom, and they've allowed me the freedom, those books have, to say, oh, well, that's how I used to think about it. Well, what if I try this? Well, what if I came over here and did this? What's the worst thing that could happen? Let me try it. And so as I've tried these new ideas and these new perspectives, I've grown and I've become such a very strong, different, but you know, happy and, and capable person. And I believe that, especially us that are, that are starting our own businesses, right, or we're running our own businesses, we're on a journey. Now, we are all on a journey to change ourselves, but especially those of us that are starting a business, we have to change ourselves very rapidly because there's so much we have to learn and we have to become this amazing entrepreneur and we have to find her within ourselves. And so there's going to be resources and tools and mentors that we're going to need to find along the way that are going to help us develop into that person. And I will tell you that those five books have helped me do that. Now, the other resources that I I jotted down, um, I I listen to Tony Robbins. Obviously, I recommend Tony Robbins. I I reference him from time to time along with Dean Graciosi and some other folks. Um, But Tony Robbins has an app called Breakthrough. It's a breakthrough app. And that's where Tony has all of his audio programs. And so, of course, you can listen to all five of those books on Audible or any of those pieces if you want to listen rather than read. Totally up to you. But if you want to listen to programs only, there's no book available really. Then Tony has three programs that I've listened to that I enjoy. Um, one is the Ultimate Edge, right? It's all about you know focusing yourself and 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 finding the power within you to to move yourself forward. I mean, it's it's his overall program on. I think it was his very first one or one of the very first ones. And so it's just a fundamental Tony Robbins program is how I would define it. Um, the other is Time of Your Life, where he goes with his RPM and his planning method, right? And he teaches you how to really organize your time and and get rid of the to-do list and focus on what's going to make the difference. Figuring out what your what and your why are, and then you're going to figure out your how. So scratch the to-do list. Don't get overwhelmed with all that mess. Just come in and do RPM. And then, you know, last but not least is personal power. And that's a 30-day program where he really helps you come into yourself and, and find your personal power. It's the easiest way to describe it. So there are so many nuggets and, and references and resources in those three. You can tell I'm struggling to tell you all that they're about because when I try to tell you just one thing, I mean, you're going to get like 20 different things out of each program. It's so much. Tony always brings so much good content. But those are the overarching pieces. Now, he has a lot more if you want to go into the Breakthrough app. But those are the three that I would recommend from a, an audio-only resource. Okay? So there you have it. I've given you five really good books that have changed my life. I have given you three programs that I consider very impactful in my life as well. As you're sitting down and thinking, okay, what am I going to read this year? What am I going to change about myself this year? What am I going to grow into? You know, how, I, how do I need to think differently? What different perspectives can I appreciate or just recognize and try out? Then I would recommend grabbing at least one of those eight things that I mentioned to you. Just grab one of them. Listen to it or read it, whatever you prefer. Try it out and then apply it. We're all growing and changing. We have to. But use those resources. I promise you they will help you. And then I would love if you would come in and on the Facebook page for Legend Leaders or in the private Facebook group that's free to join in Legend Leaders. Go ahead and check us out and let us know what books you are reading. And let us know what you recommend so that, you know, maybe if you've got an amazing book that I haven't checked out yet, I would love to grab it. So as much as I'm imparting upon you, information, 
come and let me know, right? Come and let me know what you're reading or what you consider impactful. I would love to check out what you're reading as well. With that, I'm going to let you run. Go have an amazing day. And as always, go and be legendary.